During the 1920s through the 1940s, many prominent people, actors, writers, directors, athletes, scientists, and others, had the unique opportunity to experience the hospitality of William Randolph Hearst at his ranch in San Simeon, La Cuesta Encantada, the Enchanted Hill. During the day, visitors were free to roam about and pursue one of the many outdoor activities, such as exploring the gardens. But the evening routine was to meet in the assembly room for cocktail hour. In the assembly room, guests could mingle with each other, do a jigsaw puzzle, play poker, or perhaps play a game of Monopoly. One such guest was Eleanor Glynn, who was a frequent visitor to San Simeon. Eleanor Glynn was an English romance writer who went on to become a screenwriter and director for the movie industry. While people today do not recognize the name Eleanor Glynn, classic movie buffs do recognize the name Clara Bow, the actress who became the It Girl. Eleanor Glynn not only wrote the story It, but she also wrote the first screenplay for that movie which made Miss Bow famous. Eleanor Glynn was born in 1864 in Jersey, England. Eleanor, a fiery redhead, was somewhat rebellious and had her own ideas. She lacked a formal education due to not liking her governess, but was very well read thanks to her stepfather's library. She married in her late twenties and settled into the country life of the English gentry. Eleanor began writing using her observations of life as inspiration and published her first novel, The Visits of Elizabeth. In 1907, she published Three Weeks, a book so scandalous that it made her notorious, but also sold more than two million copies. In 1917, she signed a contract with William Randolph Hearst for the U.S. rights to her novels. Mr. Hearst did not always like her characters, whom he thought to be disagreeable, but Eleanor refused to change her text. Because of her popularity as a novelist, Eleanor Glynn was asked to come to Hollywood to work as a screenwriter. It was during this time that she became friends with actress Marion Davies, who was also Mr. Hearst's companion. Eleanor Glynn would frequently visit Miss Davies, both at her Santa Monica house and at the ranch in San Simeon, where she would dine in the refectory. Guests would dine in the refectory, seated among Gothic choir stalls and 16th century Flemish tapestries, at a table that Eleanor considered to be the longest table she had ever seen. Eleanor, a seasoned veteran to stately country homes in England, was bewildered by Casa Grande. She viewed it as a jumble of antiques within the largest antique store. Miss Glynn also found the noise level to be terrific with all of the shouting and laughing of the Hollywood guests and Mr. Hearst sitting in the middle of it, conducting business with his secretary. Although they were very different in character, Eleanor Glynn and William Randolph Hearst took to each other. She found him to be a generous, thoughtful, and kind host, as well as employer. He admired her work and found that Miss Glynn was a social asset at his parties. Mr. Hearst at times even acted as her business advisor, cautioning her against different deals. In 1929, Eleanor Glynn started her own movie production company in England and directed several movies. After retiring from the film industry, she continued to write novels as well as her autobiography until her death in 1943. Her obituary stated that, beneath her sophistication and dalliance with naughtiness, Eleanor Glynn was an incurable romantic who was by nature intense and lived every moment of a long and adventurous life.